Hello, I'm Alina Polyakova, President and CEO of the Center for European Policy Analysis, or SIPA, in Washington. Since our founding, SIPA has been committed to ensuring a strong and enduring transatlantic alliance rooted in collective security and shared democratic values. Today, both of these principles are under attack. Putin's brutal war in Ukraine aims to rewrite the post-Cold War order through violence and force. It is not just an attack on Ukraine, but an attack on democracy and the basic principles of self-determination at large. The independent voices who continue to expose the truth about Putin's war faced an outsized threat. For Ukrainian scholars and journalists, the war has produced a dire and dangerous situation, and many talented individuals are no longer able to continue their work for fear of their own lives. As Putin escalates Russian propaganda and imposes further censorship on his own population at home, independent Russian scholars, activists, and journalists also face increased risk to their personal safety as they attempt to uncover the truth about the Kremlin's regime. These are the victims of Putin's war. And in this critical moment, we must find ways to reach and support talented Ukrainian and Russian independent voices and democracy fighters. At some point, the situation will change. And it is our shared responsibility to protect the individuals who will shape the trajectory of their own countries in both Russia and, of course, Ukraine. This is why SIPA has launched the Democracy Fellowship Fund. This fund will support year-long fellowships for highly qualified independent journalists, scholars, and activists who are no longer able to continue their work due to Putin's brutal war on Ukraine. This fellowship is part of SIPA's longstanding tradition of fostering the next generation of transatlantic leaders. But to make an impact, we need your support. To donate or learn more about how you can help independent Ukrainian Russian voices, please visit our website, sipa.org. That's C-E-P-A dot O-R-G. Thank you, and Slava Ukraina.